Good morning. Welcome to Good Morning Glendale. My name is Robert Hyde, President and CEO of the Glendale Chamber of Commerce. And I have the honor and privilege today of sitting down with Kenneth Manuel, the President and CEO of Hilo River Gaming Enterprises. Uh, for those that may not have met this gentleman yet, I got to tell you, he is a pretty inspirational leader. I've watched him in action, and I got to tell you, he's one of those wow people. So it's a true honor. Uh, Kenneth, good morning. Uh, start off by telling us a little bit about who you are, a little bit about yourself, because I would imagine we have a lot of folks that will be watching this that will go, I've heard of him. I know I've seen his face, but who is this guy? So take it away. All right. Good morning, Robert. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, first and foremost, it's great to be part of the Glendale Chamber, uh, and I appreciate the opportunity to, 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 to have this conversation. So a little bit about myself. Uh, again, my name is Kenneth Manuel. Uh, I am a member of the Gila River Indian community. Um, I have been, uh, a, I've been a part of the enterprise and the casino for a little over 25 years. Uh, I actually started with the casino when we first opened back in 1994. Um, actually, I started out as a, as a line employee in our slot operations. So I've, I've seen the casino operations since, uh, since our inception back in 1994. And so it's been, it's been great to be part of our history, um, part of where we're at today and also where we're going in the future. Um, so I've, I've worked in various positions uh, in the 25 years, uh, mostly in slot operations. I was at one point a member of our uh, corporate board of directors and was a, the president of our corporate board of directors uh, before taking on the roles of assistant CEO and then chief executive officer for, for Gila River Hotels and Casinos. So it's been, it's been an exciting run. Uh, I love what we do here at the, at the enterprise, um, mostly, first and foremost, mostly because uh, I understand as a member of the Gila River Indian community that all of our, uh, what we do today uh, really goes to support the, the Gila River Indian community as a whole. I think it's pretty remarkable. And you've got a long career. I remember last year when you all did a big celebration um, on, in the East Valley at the property and we came down for it. I mean, you could feel the love in the room and you know that reaching that 25 year mark um, probably had some really special moments for you having been there from the start to hit that 25 year anniversary. So congratulations on that. So let's shift Thank gears you. a second. You know, you as a, um, the head guy at the casinos, obviously you've been faced with the current pandemic conditions. I got to tell you from the outside looking in, you all have done what I would say a phenomenal job of taking precautions for not only your staff and the, and the community itself of Gila River, but also all the patrons and guests. You want to share what gaming looks like today as opposed to what it was pre-COVID? Absolutely. Thank you so much for that. Um, it, we, we, we take great pride in, in taking care of not only, as you mentioned, not only our team members, uh, but also our guests as well. Uh, our guests are, are really important to us. And, and so we wanted to make sure that uh, any measures, any procedures, any protocols that we took, uh, that we made, uh, had, had both not only our guests in mind, but also our team members as well. So some of the things that you'll see at, at Gila River Hotels and Casinos at all three of our properties is, is a lot of uh, plexiglass and some social distancing when it comes to the placement of our, our slot machines and our table games, and, and also in a lot of our, our food and dining establishments. Um, but what, we, I, I, what I'm most proud of is the fact that uh, we do follow the CDC guidelines um, and, and, and other state, uh, state health guidelines as well. But, but what we did is we took a step above that. Uh, one of the exciting things that, that we did um, was we went non-smoking at all three of our properties. Wow, I did uh, not know that. That's amazing. Yes, yes, yes. And, and that, was, that was largely due to uh, some of the fears that, that did exist. And, and also we, we took the feedback from our guests as well as our team members. Um, but also what you'll see is uh, we've also gone above and beyond. We, we have screening measures, not only for all of our guests uh, as they come into any of our properties, but also for, for our team members every day when they come on site. Um, but one of the other things that we also have done is uh, the Hill River Indian community has, has established a, a protocol in which all of our team members uh, do get tested on, uh, on a two week basis. So every two weeks we are tested for COVID 
and, and that information does get relayed to our, our health department. Um, and, and so uh, I, th I think that's a great step for, for not only our guests, but really for our team members to help them make them feel safe uh, and secure on a, on a regular basis. Well, we've got to commend you because, uh, you know, the, the scope of how people are dealing with this, it, you know, is wide and far in between. And you certainly are at the top of the leaderboard in uh, taking those precautions. And some of it in driving our economy is raising consumer confidence. And uh, you are certainly the epitome of excellence when it comes to that. So can't thank you enough for leading the charge um, for businesses and setting the example. Um, because, again, we need good partners like you. And I know you all were closed while um, for a while, and that had to be a very tough decision for your workers, uh, the families that are impacted, and, and certainly the patrons who love to come and enjoy the fun times. Um, so we know that wasn't an easy decision, but now that you're back open and getting going again, we hope that many people will get out there, feel comfortable going out and uh, visiting your property. Another area to shift into that I think is uh, pretty remarkable is you all are amazing partners. Uh, we're valued to have you as a partner, but you have many partnerships in place from sports teams to nonprofits. Your give back is absolutely amazing within the communities um, that, you know, that you're a part of. Um, where does that come from in the corporate philosophy, you know, that you all are so giving? I just... It's, it's very admirable um, to watch that and to see that kind of corporate responsibility in really embracing yourself into the communities. Um, again, so tell us a little bit about that because it's really amazing what you all do. Uh, thank you, Robert. And, and I, I think a, a big part of, of that really started from the, the foundation. I think the, the, the beginning leaders uh, the beginning leaders of Keeley River Hotels and Casinos back in 90, 1994 started that, that, that tradition and that process. And I, and I think it has served us well over the years. Um, the relationships that we have and that we build upon and that we cultivate are, are extremely important to our business. Uh, great folks like the, like the Glendale Chamber are awesome to work with. Um, the Arizona Cardinals, the Arizona Diamondbacks, the Arizona Coyotes, ASU, who I'm supporting today, if you can't tell, uh, oh, devils. <laughs> have, have, have all been amazing partners for us uh, in so many different ways. It's, it's so much more than, than just a, a, a sign or some advertising. Uh, you know, getting to know, getting to know the leaders and, and establishing that relationship uh, is, has been extremely important because not only do not only do we support the the, the, the franchises, but they have also supported us. Uh, one of one of the amazing one of the amazing things that, that we saw during the COVID uh, the COVID pandemic and continue to see is the fact that they supported us in so many different ways, and and the Gila River Indian community truly benefited uh, in in a lot of ways because of that relationship. So I, I think it 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 really just comes from being. A, a great neighbor, a great business partner. Um, obviously, the Hill River Indian community has been here for for thousands of years, and and so it's it's just uh, it's it's a, it's a great relationship, and it and it goes both ways. It's, you know, it's nice to see, and, you know, you and I, when we've had lunch, we've talked about some of the mutual people that we've known over the years, because I was prior casino guy. You're obviously, you know, the big man on campus there running everything, but one of the things is when folks like you walk through the properties um, in casinos, sometimes it's intimidating, but you're not that. I've watched whether it's been customers walk up to you and employees walk up to you, and it's really a family environment. Um, you know, the way that they just, they kind of gravitate towards you, but also the leadership that are around you. It, there's not that hierarchy. It really is a family feel. So to see you all embrace the community the way you do is nothing short of surprising because I just feel like it's who you all are. You're very genuine um, and, and it's wonderful to see. So you touched on something, your brand um, and, and kind of, it's not just advertising, but you will have a really, really strong brand. I think it's pretty amazing. Um, you know, what you all do. And so whether it's Dominic, whether it's Taya, whether it's Delia, you know, the whole team, you, you go big or go home. I mean, you don't go small, which is great. And I love that. I mean, your team is just, they're ready to go in, um, you know, so whether it's, you know, you do you or, you know, whatever campaign and promotion you're running, um, it's done with impact. Where does that passion come from for the brand with the team? I, I, I think it, it, it truly is about uh, what we do here as a business, as a team. Um, 
I, I, I give all the credit to, to the team itself. Um, I, I, I've tried to establish a, an environment that really uh, welcomes that, that, that teamwork. I love the ideas. I, I, I love listening to new ideas. And so I think the, the, the folks that we have in place, it, it truly is the, the right puzzle. It's, it's great chemistry. And, and I'd like to think that we all feed off of each other. Uh, we're, we're always engaged in, in, in conversations about uh, what, what other businesses are doing and what it, uh, taking and asking ourselves, what is it that we can do to take uh, Gila River hotels and casinos to the next level? What, uh, how can we implement technology uh, that really establishes us, continues to establish us uh, as the leader in gaming? And so it's, it's, it's a passion that um, also comes from understanding who and what we serve. Um, they're, they're, it's you know, primarily, you know, it's the Gila River Indian community, but it's also other businesses that, that are in the Valley as well, that, that, that we uh, buy goods from, uh, that we, you know, obtain services from. And so, you know, the, the state of Arizona and, and this area uh, really have become great neighbors and partners to us as well. And so I think it's, it's just uh, thinking outside the box. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned folks like Tia and Delia and Dominic, because those folks really do bring a tremendous amount of energy to the business. And, and they know, they know they have an open, uh, they have an invitation, open invitation uh, to, to my office. And so uh, I just, I, I love hearing new ideas and, and I try to create, I try to create an environment um, that, that is open and welcome and, and, and just uh, enjoy what we do together. Well, it's, it's really refreshing to see. I mean, coming from Vegas at one time and seeing the different brands and things out there, you know, you all are top notch and they do a phenomenal job, your entire team. You're very, very active on social media. I love the way it's not just saying, hey, come and support us or come and dine or come and gamble or whatever, but you engage your customers, whether it's in comments. What's I think one of the recent ones the other day was, tell us what the biggest jackpot was this last week. So, I mean, we follow and watch it, um, you know, so it's nice to see it's, it's engaging in that sense. Um, you know, you, you touched on something else is your economic impact. You've got a, a huge economic impact between the number of employees that you uh, employ within the partnerships of the properties um, or partners that you have, uh, customers and clients that you do business with for getting goods and supplies. Um, one of the things I think that you all put out not too long ago was, I believe you're working on an expansion. Um, any exciting news you can share on that? I mean, without opening up too much, because I know you might not be ready to, but anything exciting you could share with us on that? No, uh, ab absolutely. Thank you, Robert. Uh, that's, a, that's another great question. And uh, there, there, there's so many exciting things that, that Gila River is a part of. And, and so it, it's hard to pick uh, which, which item, but... Um, specifically to the construction project. So right now we're, we're in the process of um, a, a casino development and enhancement project, excuse me. And part of that is what you will see uh, a, a new hotel tower, 204 rooms, uh, uh, much larger hotel rooms. Uh, we're excited about the project, uh, updated rooms, and, and so uh, an exciting piece about this project is also gonna be a rooftop uh, concept that will be exciting for folks to come and see. Wow. Uh, a, a larger pool area, as well as a, a, a casino refresh. So once the project is complete, uh, all of our guests and visitors will, will see a, a new and exciting product at the Wild Horse Pass property. So uh, in addition, uh, Delia, Delia will love this, uh, additional, con additional conference space. Uh, she's been begging me to, to, to do this for quite some time. And, and I think it, 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 it goes to the fact that over the years, um, a lot of groups have, have come to Gila River, but because of the size of our conference space, you know, they, may have, they may have passed up an opportunity, but uh, Delia has kept us uh, well-informed and she, she says, we need additional conference space. She, we need additional conference space. So uh, that, that is also gonna be part of this project as well. 
That's amazing. We can't wait to see it. And I can only imagine when you uh, debut it, I'm sure it's going to be a pretty swaggy event, um, you know, because everything you all do is just, you always outdo yourselves every single time. So that's exciting. Another thing is, you know, we have your name right here in our community on Gila River Arena. So we get to see your name. I drive by it literally every single day to and from the office. Um, you know, I pass through right there every day. I always drive through Westgate, see it. So we're thankful that we have your name right there. Um, but the next closest problem to us is Viquiva. Um, we ho hosted an event out there about a year ago. We just did a flashback photo and got some people saying we loved it. It was one of the ama most amazing times. Um, we had some dancing and some great food and the sunset, just amazing. How has the 202 transformed traffic? I know COVID obviously probably set that off slightly, but the ease of getting there, I mean, it's one, two, three. You just hop right on, especially here in the West Valley, and you're there. It's, it's, it takes no time at all to get to the amazing Viquiva where it's it's such a fantastic it, it, it was always a fantastic location for us uh, but once the 202 uh, was built and, and opened up uh, it really allowed for so many more guests to come and visit Viquiva um, so the, the 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 response has been awesome uh, the feedback has been awesome um, one of the things that that we constantly get is uh, the fact that um, guests can, can get to Viquiva so much easier, but also that, that the views, the views of our, of our community, uh, and that, that is specifically uh, areas in our District 6 and District 7 communities, they're actually able to see so many of the mountains and the beauty that's, that's along that, that freeway drive along the Loop 202. So the, the, the response overall has, has been amazing. And, and we're so excited to not only have more guests come and visit the Viquiva property, but also for them to, to hear the feedback. They, they say, oh my gosh, this is amazing. We never knew that this was out here. And, and, and it does not, I mean, it's, I think um, that the, the, the time frame between Viquiva, Wild Horse Pass and Lone Butte, our three properties is now only about between 10 and 15 minutes. So uh, just, just an exciting um, time for, for Gila River Hotels and Casinos. It really, really is. And, you know, we can't thank you enough for all your support. You know, when partners like you support a chamber, we're kind of the ecosystem of our local communities. And so, you know, we've certainly been put to the test like everyone you all have this past year, trying to support business and commerce and keep the doors and, and the wheels of commerce moving. Um, so we can't thank you for your support. And we know you're a super busy guy. We don't want to take too much of your time, but anything that I didn't ask you that you feel like you want to add in that uh, we want to let folks know about uh, the, the casinos or the properties or anything like that? Uh, no, I, I, I think you covered quite a bit. Um, just the fact that, um, you know, we're continuing to, to look at all of our properties. We're continuing to uh, monitor all of the CDC protocols. Safety is so huge for us right now. We want to make sure that, you know, our guests are, are coming into an environment that, that, is, is safe for them as well as for our team members. Um, so I think that, you know, just we're continuing to evolve and continuing to explore. We love working with our, our, our uh, sports partners and, and all of our partners in general. Uh, and so we just are, are truly blessed to, to have amazing partners and amazing guests and, and, a, and, and an amazing community uh, who I get to answer to. Uh, and just having that support of our, our Gila River Indian community officials. Well, and, and those folks are amazing. You know, going to one of the um, changing of the guard for the governorship, um, that was a first for me. So I learned a lot about the culture and the different kind of things that go into that. So um, I've been on this journey with you since I came here to the Glendale Chamber, um, but we cannot thank you enough for your support. Uh, we're here to be a good partner. Anything that we can do for you and your team, just know that we're just a phone call or email away. Um, so with that, uh, any closing remarks before I wrap it up, Kenneth? Robert, I just want to say thank you so much for, for allowing us the opportunity to, to do this. Uh, you've been awesome as well, and, and we truly appreciate the, the Chamber and, and, and yourself in continuing to, to help promote what we're doing, but also looking for ways for us to help the, the Chamber as well. So uh, just excited to, to, to be part of this, and, and we look forward to the future.
We do as well. Thank you so much. So with that, folks, that concludes this session of Good Morning Glendale. Keep an eye out for other upcoming, upcoming presenters and speakers, but make sure that you play Gila and get out there because they've got some amazing stuff going on. Support them. Go out. Make sure that you, uh, you know, win big. One quick question, Kenneth. Where yes. are the winning machines placed on the casino floor? Can we get that map for our viewership here in Glendale in the West Valley? Don't you have a map that shows which ones are gonna win? Uh, I tried like Glendale, I tried for us to see if we could get the winning map, but. <laughs> I, don't forget, you do you, Robert. You That's do right, you. you do you. I love it, I love it, I love it. Well, thank you so much, Kenneth. We hope you have a great day. And to all of you watching, thank you very much for your support and have a good one. Thank you.